Well, we want to say good evening to everybody. This is our August 16th meeting. Uh, we want to thank you for your sacrifice uh, in joining uh, the Local Development Council and all the work that goes into it. So we, we want to honor that this this, uh, this evening and thank you for, for your work. Uh, we uh, were supposed to, um, we canceled a meeting on last week, uh, last month, um, because we didn't get the multi-year spending plan uh, prior to our meeting. We met on the 19th. We didn't get the multi-year spending plan until the 21st. And uh, um, I, sh I should have called a, a special meeting, but I had a health issue to show up. So I wasn't able to do that. So between now and September 14th, we have to have at least a special meeting of some type in order to make certain that we get our recommendations back to the county exec by September 4th. Uh, so that gives us about 19 days, and we will, uh, uh, of course, have uh, enough time to do what we need to do with a special meeting. Did everybody get an opportunity to uh, read the county exec's letter, her recommendations also, the recommendations of Council, Councilman Burroughs by way of the county council? Did everybody get a chance to, uh, to uh, examine that? Okay. Uh, can I get a show of hands, or a voice, or something other than it? Um, Mr. Lewis, Mr. Yes, I've reviewed it. This is Dr. Lattimore. Okay. Uh, you, you review both. So you had you had the LDC plan, and you had uh, the letter from uh, Chairman Denoga with uh, Councilman Burrell's recommendations. Now. <clears throat> What we want to do, uh, we have to have our recommendations back. As I said, we have to be back to, to the county exec by the 19th. Uh, so, I mean, by the 4th, I'm sorry. So we have we have just a little bit of time and hopefully you all have had an opportunity to examine and any questions that you would like to ask uh, along the way. And what we will do is uh, move from there. Now, last year, what we did is uh, we made some recommendations uh, by way of cover letter back to the county exec that our overall recommendation uh, to the county exec was that the uh, based upon conversations with then uh, Chair Todd Turner and then Chair Hawkins, uh, we all agreed that uh, that there should be some separation from these funds, uh, uh, the LDC funds from the general fund. That was a that was a recommendation that we made to the county exec. Um, I I don't know whether she, that recommendation ever reached her or not, but we're still in this situation where the LDC funds with the ten million dollars is is co-mingled with the general fund. Uh, I think that it should be separated. We've heard from a number of residents uh, in the past uh, to produce a bit more transparency and trust with that subject matter. So. So that's uh, that's an issue that we we still have and would like to see. And that letter will go back to the county exec again the same way it, it was the last time. Now, last year we had recommendations, and of course there's some changes that have to be made to those recommendations. If you recall, um, we had uh, uh, six schools that were going to be uh, uh, funded for repairs and those kind of things. Of course, uh, Mr. Burroughs. Uh, uh, what he he called uh, conversation starters and and uh, and uh, talking points uh, later turned out to be the changes that were made by way of the the uh, county council. I went down to testify, opposing that, of course, and was not allowed to testify until after the vote had gone through. Um, I have some concerns about that and doing some things behind the scenes, in, you know, along with that. Now. I want to talk about oversight for, for a second. The multi-year spending plan. Um, Ryan called me last year, September, on a Saturday, uh, to say to me that uh, the LDC is, we're restricted to oversight of the $850,000. And of course, I have some serious problems with that. Um, if you look at, if you just go back over the last six years, I believe that the LDC has existed. And if we had an average of $870,000 over a six year period, that's $5.1 million. 
we get $10 million from the uh, local development council. I mean, from the, from the MGM uh, over a six year period, that's $60 million. And if all we have uh, oversight of is $5.1 million, we're looking at, uh, um, you know, $55 million is unaccounted for. That's how I see it. And that's how people have approached me with this stuff, uh, asking me questions about expenditures that I can't answer. And we need to really deal with that and get a definitive answer from the county exec, uh, from Ryan, from wherever as to our responsibility and our role over this money. I just don't see how we can be be uh, limited just to the eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars. That's not making any sense. I mean, uh, eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's just simply not making any sense to me. Ryan, can you address that before we go any further? Sure. So uh, basically, all of the funds that the LDC uh, are is allowed to say up or down on advancing money to nonprofits or what have you, that is limited to the grant process, which is the $850,000 give or take. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the multi-year spending plan, this is state law. According to the state law, uh, the county executive comes up with a spending plan, which includes the $850,000. And the county council weighs in on it. The LDC weighs in on it. The uh, county executive takes all of those recommendations and suggestions under advisement and uses best efforts to incorporate those recommendations into the final multi-year spending plan, which is then uh, forwarded to the county council for resolution. This is according to state law, like, but when it comes to saying this organization should receive money, that organization should not, the LDC's like up or down vote is limited to the grant process. And that's that's what it's been. That's what's what it's always been. Um that's according to the state law. Like that's that, that's not, you know, a policy of the county executive's office. That is that is just the way the law is written. But is state law saying that we don't have any oversight? I mean, I understand state law saying oh. we, I'm, I'm talking about oversight. I'm talking sure. about the LD, the LD, so, dollars. Understood. The LDC can always call to question as to whether or not, like during the spending process, hey, uh, this organization or that agency or this entity that received money in the multi-year spending plan, we don't believe that they have satisfied the tenets of the agreement for receiving that money. They can, the LDC, this body, is well within its right to say, because of that, we don't believe this organization should receive money or this you know, entity should receive money moving forward. That's the process. That, but that's that's that that's exactly what I just said. That's that's the same process. Like that 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 would be the oversight. Uh, is, I mean, that's limited to the eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. I'm talking. No, no, about no, 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 no. What I what I just what I just said goes to the multi year spending plan. So say, uh, entity X receives fifty thousand dollars in the multi year spending plan, right? The LDC mm -hmm. during the multi year spending plan process. This is what this is what we're meeting about now. Can say. Um, County Executive also Brooks, um, we see that uh, you wish to give this organization or entity, uh, say for argument, fifty thousand dollars, or uh, if it's if, if you're reviewing the uh, County Council's recommendations for the spending plan, you're able to say, hey, uh, Council members, we see that you're recommending that this entity receive fifty thousand dollars. It is our opinion as the LDC, the uh, representatives of this impact area who live here, it is our opinion that this organization in years past or this organization is not capable or will not properly administer the funds in the impact area. 
that is that is what we are here to do right now. That 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 is what the LDC is is tasked with doing right now with the multi-year spending plan. From oh. there, you can make the recommendation that that entity should not receive funds, and the county executive will take those suggestions under advisement and use best efforts to incorporate those recommendations into the final plan, which will then be transmitted to the county council. Okay, that's not what I'm speaking of. I'm speaking of a reporting process. I'm speaking of mid-year reports that we are required to get from uh, the organizations that we that received the $850,000. We're required to get a mid-year report, right. any year report, that, so we can see how that money is spent. You, 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 I, were, you were referring I, to the money outside of the $850,000, though. No, I'm, I'm talking about Prince George's County. Uh, public school system, Crossing High School Academy re receiving $2.6 million. I yeah. think we should get a report uh, mid-year and an end-of-year report from them the same way we require uh, the organizations, the nonprofits who were awarded the funds out of the $850,000. I and think we should get it from, from, from Prince George County uh, um, Community College. I mean, they, they have a a community college uh, foundation incorporated, I think we should be able to see how that money is spent and we should receive the same reports that we received from everybody else, those who received the $850,000. That's my argument. That's where I'm having some concerns because if you, if you look at the $60 million that we have received at this point, and I'm being told that we only have oversight in terms of receiving reports and how this money has been sent, spent. If, if we receive $850,000 on average for the six years that the, 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 uh, the LDC has been in, in, in place, I don't know whether six or seven years, but just using six years, at, at an average of $850,000, that is $5.1 million. Um, and telling me that we, we can't, see or get reports on how the rest of this money is spent means $55 million goes unaccounted for. That's my argument. I, I am insisting that we get the same reports that we get for the $850,000, that we get the same reports from, from the library system, from equity through education, from, from Prince George's, George's County Community College, from the scholarship fund, which gets Two hundred thousand dollars. We we should we should get a report from them, just like we get it for from the the organizations that are required to give us a mid year and end of the year report. That's my opinion. Is it anywhere that says that we can't do that? Because what you told me, our our oversight is limited to the eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And I just simply don't don't agree with that. I don't see how it's possible for fifty five million dollars to go unaccounted for over the last six years or over a year. I don't care what, what it is, but when we look at this, and I'm asked ask questions as, as to how uh, Prince George's County uh, uh, College is spending their money, and I can't answer that as a chair of the local development council. I, I got issues with that, right? So, you know, I'm just concerned as to where it, there's anything in writing that would uh, preclude us from doing that. If not, my recommendation, of course, is going to be to the county exec that all of these organizations, uh, as I did last year, um, submit mid-year and end-of-year end reports. That's where my argument is. Here, here's the, here's the, the, the issue, though. You could ask for it, but the, the, what, I, what I said earlier still stands. Like, the you, you could receive a report and the organization could could submit a report or not submit a report but the ldc wouldn't be able to say okay well if you don't submit a report we're never going to give you funds again because the way the process is structured the, the, the way the process is structured the ldc doesn't have the ability to, so, so crossland high school for instance the ldc doesn't have the ability to say you didn't send this report so that therefore you can't receive money that's not that's not the, the, the up or down decision of the LDC. So what I'm what I'm saying is, at least according, like at least as far as I'm as far as I'm informed, there's no mechanism that will require 
these organizations outside of the grant process to submit these reports because the LDC does, it, it, I'm not making it up. I'm just, I'm just saying, I, I don't know what the mechanism is that will require these organizations or these entities to submit like reports. I, I, this may be uh, a, a, a better question to be presented to OMB because OMB works with uh, these agencies, these organizations to um, figure out how this money gets divvied up. Um, so so that, 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 that's a question I can pose to OMB, but at least in terms of requiring these organizations to submit uh, um, like mid-year reports, that's just not, that's not a, that there's, there's not, there's nothing that re require them to do it. That, and that there is no teeth that the LDC has to require that. That that's, that's all I'm saying. It's not something I'm making up. It's not, it's not my opinion. It's not, it's like, I, I would love for these uh, entities to be able to supply like, like, and, and tell the LDC exactly like where this money is going. However, as it stands right now, there is no mechanism that would dictate uh, these um, uh, mid-year or, 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 or annual reports to be submitted. That's well, all I'm saying. It's not, it's, not, it's, not opinion, it's not an opinion of mine. It's, it's, just, just, it's just structurally that that's where we are today. All right, I'm, 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 not, I'm not talking about my saying that these entities can't get money if they don't send a report. I'm trying to follow the money. Sure. There's, there's no way that we can distribute the kind of money that we distribute and, and, and it not be accounted for, right? I mean, there's no, no accounting. I, rem I remember when putting this oversight committee in place, I, the first person I went to was Amber, and she made it real clear that we don't have staff to do that kind of stuff. Um, and, and, and I understand that, um, in, in looking at these numbers and finding the stuff that I'm finding and the abuse of money, there's no way we can let, let $55 million go unaccounted for. That's crazy. And, uh, I am insisting that we, I mean, we've got 39 organizations that were required to give us a mid-year and end-of-the-year report to account for the spending of the money. I don't see why Prince George's County College, the educational training program, the Memorial Library uh, Workforce Development the Scholarship Fund, I don't see why we can't get reports uh, and I'm just insisting on that because this is crazy. This is not making sense to me. As I said, I'm, I'm being asked questions about how certain monies have been spent and I can't answer. I, I just don't have an answer for it because I haven't been able to examine those funds. So that, that sets a concern that, that I have. Go ahead, go ahead, Ms. Turner. Um, I mean, hello, Turner. hello, everybody. Um, Ryan. Yes, I've been in this LDC since it began, since the, the county exec organized and put this together. And can you explain to me, is this something new that's going on um, that we wasn't aware of, uh, that we don't have no authority to, uh, 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 to, to insist on explaining to some of these people that we give money to, to explain to us where this money went. Is this something new that I don't know about? I've been in this, in this LDC since it was uh, uh, established. Now, I can't recall uh, some of this stuff that's going on right now. Uh, my question to you, and I, I hate to put you on the spot, but the county, you said the county exec know about all of this? Nothing that I'm saying is new. This is everything that I'm saying is in the state law. You look up the state law as to how LDC's local development councils, not just Prince George's, but local development councils across the state operate. Everything that I'm saying is, is, is not, it, it, it predates this administration. 
uh, when the original LDC was created under the Baker administration, uh, when you were there, Delegate Turner. Yeah. So I'm not saying anything new. All I'm saying is when it comes to saying an up or down, this entity should receive money and we demand to uh, receive reports in order for you to like receive money moving forward, uh -huh. that ability is limited structurally. See, I I, I, that's, that's what I can't understand. I mean, that word that you just keep using, limited. <laughs> I'm trying to say, so that means that you, you are crossing our hands that um so we i'm we, not i'm not doing anything i'm not doing anything i did not write this law i did not create these policies i am not doing anything all i am doing is telling you exactly what the the, the policy is i didn't create this the policy predates this administration the, the this administration did not create this policy but you you're saying you're saying if someone did, doesn't give us a report we are saying that they can't get the money. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about overseeing the money, man. I'm talking about. And I understand, and Pastor Robinson. I understand. I, I understand. I understand what you're saying. What and what I'm saying is, you can ask for that. You can ask for it, mm -hmm. but the LDC doesn't have the ability, when it outside of the grant process, to demand it and and say like, okay, well, if you don't send this, then you don't get money moving forward. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is you, it's something that you can ask for. That's all I've ever said. What and you again, told me. This is, not, this, is not a, this is not a policy that I created. It's not a policy that the also Bush administration created. This is okay. just, this is just what the policy is. This is, this is state law. This is not anything that we like uh, created. So you're saying state law says that we can't require Prince George's County Community College to give us a report, a quarterly report, an annual report, just like just like we spend with, I mean, we get from everybody else that gets money. Is that what you're saying? Again, 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 again. When when I when you're you're saying you can can you not require, but like when you say I'm requiring this, by what method are you requiring it? By what method is the other eight hundred fifty thousand dollars being required? Because, well, well, with the eight, when it comes to eight hundred fifty thousand dollars, if an organization just decides to, we're not going to do this, then the, the LDC can say, we're not going to uh, fund this organization in the future. The organ, the, the LDC has the that ability to say, if this organization ever applies for a grant, an LDC grant ever again in the future, we are not going to do it because in the past this organization did not abide by. The agreement. Man, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being able to receive report the same way we receive it from everybody else. And what, I, and what, I, and what I'm how saying, the money has been spent. And what I'm saying is you can ask for it. The, the, the LDC can ask for that. The LDC can ask for presentations from these organizations uh, to determine like exactly how this money and, and, and then see exactly how this money is spent. It's something that can be asked for. And I'm sure a lot, most of these entities would, wouldn't have a problem saying all, what, what kind of work they're doing in the impact area. But what I'm saying is it's categorically different from saying we require a mid-year report from you. It's because it's, it's, the LDC's grant process is different from the spending plan process. There's two different processes. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to pursue it. I'm, I'm going to pursue it until I get the answer that I think I need. It's just important for me. Now, I'm I'm out of here in December, but, but freedom of information will become my best friend. I'm telling you, we, this money has to be tracked, and, and I have some real concerns about that. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it from, from that standpoint. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to recommendations, last year we made some recommendations. They were kind of all over the place, but I didn't Somebody see Somebody has any. a question. Where she Who's go? That? Miss Dr. Hugg? I, I do. It's, it's, it's really a statement. $10 million is the allocated amount. The only thing that is germane to this committee of that $10 million is $850. For some reason, since I've been a part of this, it has been the stance of this committee that they have oversight over the whole $10 million. And every meeting, we are reminded that we do not have oversight of the 10 million. 
we have mm -hmm. oversight of 850,000. And if it's not in the 850, it is not germane to us. There is a itemized budget that details where the other monies are going and how those monies are allocated. And it seems to me that they're not germane to this committee. And we keep fighting for something that's not germane to this committee. The only thing germane to this committee is how the $850,000 in community impact funds are spent for grant awardees. Now, if I'm wrong, somebody help me, but that other money is allocated to education, to uh, the police department and other departments, and they don't owe this committee a report. And if we ask for it, it's either they can or they don't have to, they might, they might not, they don't have to. And if they don't give it, there's nothing we can do about it because we only have oversight of 850,000. Now, am I right or wrong? Or are we just going in circles with this? Well, well Dr. Dr. Huggins, before I took over, there was no oversight at all, zero. Um, I happened to be sitting, it was either in my first or second meeting, there were laid in front of us, I believe it was end of the year reports. I combed through the, those end of the year reports before the, um, the meeting started. I ran across a $25,000 grant. Uh, this gentleman has spent $18,000 on a van and the other $7,000, it was clear when you looked at that budget that uh, those funds were, were misused. I get it, Pastor Robinson. Now, already. Let, me, we, let me finish. We, we've let me talked finish. about now, that. Those are grant funds, so you can do that. But outside of grant funds, the school educational monies is not grant funds. So I that just, does, I, the two don't even go together. I disagree with that, Dr. Huggins, and uh, I'm going to pursue it until I get the proper answer, until we start to get these reports from the rest of these organizations as to how this money is being spent. You just can't let just five point, I mean, 60, I mean, $55 million just be spent any kind of way with no accountability. I just, I just. So is disagree. our oversight $10 million or 850000 I My insistence yeah. on the oversight is $10 million. Yeah. Again, again, again. So organizations like uh, Crossland High School that receives money, that that's a, that's that's a school that goes into the, the public school system. Public school system, that, that money goes into their budget with the public school system. There's oversight by OMB as to how that money is spent through the budget process with the school system. That that's how that works. Again, this is what, 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 what's happening here is two separate processes are being conflated. And what I'm trying to, I'm like, and I'm, I'm clearly not doing the best job, but what I'm trying to explain is these processes, they, 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 they're, they're completely different from each other. And there, there's a full accounting of how this money is spent in terms of these entities receiving funds um, through the county's budget process that you would likely be able to, if you, if you were, if you were brave enough to comb through the county's budget book and look at some of that, uh, money and how the, how these, uh, funds are spent, I'm sure there's a full accounting of it there. But what, what, again, what I'm saying is this is, these two processes are completely different from each other. The, the grant process is, is different. Like the LDC grant process is the LDC's grant process. The multi-year spending plan process is not just the LDCs. It involves the county executive. It involves the county council. Then it involves the LDC, and then it involves the county council and the county executive's office again. Like that's the way that works. It's not just the LDC's process. So even if these organizations were to come here and say, "This is what we're, this is what we're spending it on," and they were and they were to submit a report, the process is still going to be the process. That, that's not going to change anything. That's all I'm suggesting. That's all I'm suggesting. That there's two, there are two separate tracks here. All right. So, so we can, so we can, we can 
request um, mid-year and end-of-the-year reports from these other organizations. Mm -hmm. I, we have called them to give presentations before I understand that. Right. But uh, what I'm going to do is request to the county exec that we receive mid-year and end-year reports from these other organizations the same way we do um, with the 850,000. So I'll, I'll just make that a request and we'll see where it goes from there. And that's so, totally fine. That's totally okay. fine. All right, well, let's move on. Now, what we did last year is the recommendations we made last year. I don't think the county exec ever got a hands on. I don't, I don't understand why. Uh, but what I'm going to do is you, I sent you a copy of the recommendations. We're going to, we're going to scrape out everything that uh, does not uh, really have any any teeth at this point, schools, we, we didn't realize what Mr. Burroughs was doing with, with scraping the schools and those kind of things. So what I'm gonna do is, is, is cut the fat out of the recommendations that we made on last year and also include uh, and ask you to, to include any recommendations that you may have. For instance, uh, I would like to recommend, they recommend that we move from the $50,000 cap and make it a $100,000 cap. Uh, in awards, um, of course, again separating the 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 monies from the general fund um, and those kind of things. So I'm I'm going to put together. I'm going to I'm going to cut out what we have uh, that just doesn't make any sense in the recommendations that we have made at this point, um, and see what we have left to come up with. Also, including grants. Uh, Moving from fifty to to a hundred thousand um, uh, dollars. Also, uh, that that's that's pretty much it. So what what it's going to leave me with is 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 kind of the recommendations that we made last year. I'm going to have to just kind of go through this and scrape uh, what makes no sense because we had we had the we had the six schools in there and how we were going to do what we were going to do with those those kind of things. So between now and the next meeting. What I intend to do with the recommendations is to just to go through it, take out what is not appropriate, add what I think is appropriate, uh, and uh, then we'll have this next meeting to add what you think may be appropriate, and then we'll go forward from there, making our recommendations to the county exec. Does that sound? Does that sound like a plan? I agree. Dr. Huggins. <laughs> Ms. Mack. Yeah, yeah, so it sounds like a plan. plan. Okay. Uh, uh, Ms. Wilson. I agree. Okay. Uh, Rashida. Sounds good. Okay. So, so what we're going to do is, uh, We'll, we'll uh, end the meeting here. I will go through the recommendations that we made last year that are inappropriate at this particular point because we had the schools and everything else in there before uh, Mr. Burroughs made the changes he made. And what we will do is come back together. Um, we'll call a special meeting uh, next week. I'll make certain between now and Monday, you get um, you get the, the, the recommendations that we had less last year uh, less the things that just make no sense at this point because of the changes that were made with the schools. And then we'll go from there. How's that sound? And then we'll vote on that. Oh, that sound oh, okay, oh, Doc? Oh. Say it again. Uh, All right, Dr. Huggins, are you in agreement with that? I think we got everybody else. Um, I'm sorry, I had to step out for a moment. Um, I said, what? What we're going to do is um, <clears throat> last year's recommendations had the schools and some other things, and that, of course, that got wiped out. The schools got wiped out altogether. So we're going to adopt the recommendations that we made last year, add to the recommendations uh, for this year, and uh, come back and discuss and vote on that, and send our recommendations forward to the county county exec and move from there. All right. Okay. All right. So we, uh, we at this point we 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 finished the meeting. Um, 
Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Is somebody second? Rashida? I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the meeting, Aye. Is, the meeting is adjourned. Uh, we'll uh, work it's, on uh, this. Dr. Rotten. Yes. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to congratulate you on your award.